I wanted to put AI to the test and see if I can make a vampire survivors clone using only AI. And that means I can't write a single line of code or create any visual assets. Any code I use has to be written by chat GPT and any asset I use will be created by the sponsor of this video, Scenario. Scenario is an AI tool that specifically helps game developers with their website, phone apps, and even a Discord bot it can make some really cool things for games. It's especially helpful for small indie devs. That's because Scenario can make things that look the same so they match better in the game. This makes it easier to create lots of different things for your games without worrying if they will look good together. And before I do any code or assets, I need a theme for my game. I don't really click with vampires, but developing games often feels like a fight for survival. So instead of vampire survivors, I'm doing game dev survivors. Let's get the easy part out of the way, the code. The first thing I need is a movable player character. I wrote a short description of what I needed and ChatGPT quickly got to work on my script, which I then pasted into my player script. And obviously there's no way an AI can just, oh, it, it worked. So I used the same process to create my enemies, my player health and experience points, and a power up screen when a player levels up. Occasionally, ChatGPT gave me incorrect code or code that didn't quite do what I wanted, but because the rule is I can't write any code myself, I had to nicely ask it to redo or change it, which it did. In fact, it even referenced code it gave earlier and made improvements I didn't even ask for. But like I said, this is the easy part. These aren't terribly complex scripts. The hard part will be to make it look like an actual game. Enter scenario. I quickly set up an account on the website and went to work on my AI generated art assets. And for game dev survivors, I'll need the following. A player sprite, enemy sprites, assets for the two power-ups, decorative sprites for my play area, and a player avatar portrait. Within Scenario, you have a great collection of game asset generators. There's this really cool sci-fi portrait creator to make awesome avatars, or an isometric cliff generator to create some colorful isometric assets and you can create your own generators as well. For my look, I want it to actually feel like you're in the game, fighting bugs to keep your game from crashing. I started with the asset diffusion generator. When creating images, you can use word prompts to fine tune your assets. You can also choose how many images you want to create and the number of sampling steps. Below that is a place to upload a guide image that will further guide the image generation. More on that later. For advanced options, you can adjust the dimension of your images to be wider or taller, adjust the weight of the prompt guidance, and add negative prompts to remove certain things from the generation process. Using the prompt builder, I used a number of common prompts saved by scenario. Things like centered, full shot, full body, all help in trying to keep the image from being cropped. The result was a number of really interesting futuristic abstract tech assets with a color style that I honestly really like. I saved a few of these images using another cool feature in Scenario, which is the ability to remove the background from any asset that you create, giving you a transparent image that you can easily use as a sprite within your game. Next, I focused on my player asset, which I want to be some sort of abstract representation of a virtual debugger. I used the same process to create some images for my power-ups. A red gem for my health power-up and a white gem for my speed increase. Next, I created my enemies, which I want to look like futuristic robotic bugs that the player will zap with the debugger. This time I wanted to create my own generator. This is perfect for adding your own assets to create more variation or completely new assets. I, unfortunately, am less skilled in the visual arts. So I'm going to utilize some art I found on artstation.com to test it. Links to all of the original work is in the description. After selecting and cropping my training images, the generator needed to train itself. And while I waited for that, I decided to work on my player avatar. Now for this, I really wanted to do something a bit more difficult. I actually put myself in the game. I went to the realistic fantasy style generator and uploaded this incredibly handsome image of myself to the image to image option. This uses my image as a guide. And I have to say, it's kind of amazing how it takes the original image as a guide, but applies the styles that I'm looking for. I checked on my enemy generator, which was now finished and ready to create some really scary looking bugs. And I was pretty impressed by the variation of the bug assets. 
but I want them to be robotic. So I hopped over to the little robots generator and did another image to image with my favorite bugs. And it came up with these. I think I've gotten all the assets I need to make game dev survivors look a little less like this and more like a game. Okay, I've replaced everything with my new AI generated assets. I've added basic animation, some lighting, some special effects. Let's see how it works. So Game Dev Survivors is not going to be a commercial success, but considering the fact that I didn't write a single line of code and I didn't make any visual art assets at all, it's kind of wild. Except for the initial ideas that were done by me, everything else has been done by AI. Be sure to check out Scenario if you want to start creating your own AI-generated art assets. Thanks for watching and keep creating.